Hello there everyone that's joining, how is everyone? Gonna do a nice little painting. Start off with a little bit of a liquid clear, which will help me blend the paint in a moment. Just need a tiny bit of this. Where's everyone watching? Hi Sandy Shaw. Hello user 81954 blah 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 blah. How you doing? Where's everyone watching from? So yeah, this is a, a clear, a clear paint, uh, just a clear oil. And this will help me be able to glide and blend. Uh, that one guy, how you doing? Nice to have you here. How is everyone? Please click share, please tap the screen if you can. That'd be most awesome. Try and get a little a little crowd in here tonight, hey. I don't know what everyone's doing on Saturday evening. Right, so yeah, I'm gonna make sure this is proper in the canvas. Can't really see much at the moment, but this is for a good reason. So, it's gone few. What's gone? What's gone? Whoop. Nearly had that over then. Okay, so we got that on there. Do, 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 do. I thought that was a TV stand, lol. <laughs> well, and this is TV. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so I'm gonna put some uh, green. So my idea tonight is to do like a forest. That's the idea. So I'm gonna start with some green and I'm just gonna do a background. I'm hoping this is gonna work out okay. So I'm gonna start with some green. Don't, shouldn't need too much a green. Should find out in a moment. So I've just got a dollop of green on there. It's quite dark green. That one guy, yeah, I'm going to go. So bye everyone, see you that one guy, see you quickly. Right, here we go, I'm just pulling down, loading up the brush, same brush that I used to put the liquid clear on. And I'm just gonna coat this up. Very dark green. You probably won't be able to see this very much until I start actual painting. So this is just throwing some color on. I don't know if you can see that green on there, but it probably looks black to you still. Make sure I work it proper in there. It's mixing with that oil that I put on there. I really like to work it into the canvas. Good evening, Scorn. I watched your live stream live, live for six hours. I ain't done a live. <laughs> I ain't done one for six hours yet. <laughs> but nice to have you here. Unless you've watched six hours worth of it back on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, which you can do. Six hours. God. Even I think six hours is pretty long for painting. Okay, so I've got a, a nice green background there. I've only come down to here because I'm gonna have some trees and some greenery and all kinds of stuff. Right, so we need some white now. Some titanium white. Oh, the last live I mean, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we go. See how thick that paint is. Good quality paint stands up like that. Lovely jubbly. How high can I get it? Oh, there you go, about an inch. That's okay. Right. 
What's going on tonight, Bob Ross? <laughs> well, I fed with squirrel, so he's all right. So I thought I'd come do a nice little painting. So, let's think about, grab a fan brush, maybe this one. So I've just got some white on the board. And I'm just gonna tap into that, load it up proper nice. Very thick paint. And hopefully, this should make some lighter colour. You're gonna think, what the hell's going on here? Look at that. What's he doing? What's he doing now? Just throwing any old bit of white on there, any old hell. Let's have some more white there. What's he doing? What's he doing? All right, and that's finished. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, what are we doing? So it's gonna be a nice little, uh, the idea is a nice little sort of wood. This is gonna be like the background light coming through. That's the idea. I've watched too much Bob Ross. Right, so I'm gonna blend that out. See, I've left some darker bits there. Right, let's blend this out. So I've got a nice, nice soft brush here. And I'm gonna blend this. I'm just pulling up to begin with. This is where this, this gets in the way, so I have to take it off. Probably need it again in a minute, so. Okay. Take this off. So I'm just gonna pull this up, hold the canvas, I've got somewhere to hold it. It definitely helps if you make noises. Get rid of some of that white I've got on there. And then, Just a little bit this way, and then I'm gonna pull up again. Got a nice big bit of white there. I'm just trying to blend out a little bit. There we go, so we've got some darker bits, some lighter bits there. Kind of what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you like what you're seeing, if you like the stream, tap the screen. That's what I say. Let's see if we can get some more people in here tonight. Some more artists, maybe. Okay. I think I'm nearly there blending. Just want to get so rid of some of that. And tap the top of the board. Then we can think about chucking some trees in. Okay. All right, let's place these brushes very carefully so I know where they are. Okay, so now I'm gonna get some Van Dyke Brown, which is, or do I use that one or should I use Burnt Umber? Yeah, I use Burnt Umber. So. So a nice dollop of brown. Look at that. Beautiful. Looks like chocolate in a tube. Right. What type of brushes do you use? A variety. I've got some Bob Ross brushes. I've got some new brushes on the way. I've got fan brushes, feathering brushes. So I'm doing a um, forest tonight. <laughs> Ones with bristles. <laughs> 
Someone asked me what type of paint I used um, when I was spraying that radiator on my TikTok channel, and I said uh, wet paint in a can. I couldn't resist. No, but then seriously, I answered. I answered properly. Sometimes it's just a bit silly, you know. Okay, so I've got a little fan brush here, and I'm just gonna just put some trees where I think they may be. So maybe. Maybe we can have one about there. So one here. I'm picking out where the um, where the sort of dark patches are. There we go. Just neating up that a little bit. Doesn't matter if it's too wibbly wobbly. So another one sort of here. We can put some highlights on here and all sorts of stuff ready. Little stuff attached to the trees. Okay, let's think about, let's have one here a little bit closer. Just throwing it on there and I can move the trees forward or backwards as I please um, poo streaks yeah that's another way of putting it there's another way I could do it I suppose avatar magic tree <laughs> northern lights no northern lights in this one this is like the background of a forest it should all come together if you have if you've seen some of my videos I've done lots of northern lights and that's the same sort of Sim the same sort of way I've used to blend it, you know. Put a thick one there, we've got a nice dark patch there. Just an easy, easy way of putting some tree trunks on there. Like I said, I can move them forward, I can move them back. Let's do, where should we go here? Let's go here. slightly different there. And I'll put one more maybe over here. And then when that gets a bit and I've used sort of most of the paint on the brush, which is there now, I can put some little light ones in. Very light ones. Hardly anything on the brush here. I'm trying to read the comments, guys. Um, trying to keep up with them anyway. <laughs> Please tap the screen if you can, guys, if you're enjoying what you're seeing. It'd be much appreciated. Okay, let's just lift up some of them, them there. If I use my fill some of that out a little bit. Oh, thank you so much for the roses. I've just spotted them. I appreciate any gifts. Any gifts that I get go straight towards paint and canvases. And I had to stick the heating on here on here in here for about 40 minutes because I'm actually in my summer house. It was like minus zero when I came in. <laughs> thank you so much for the roses. And just put a tiny, tiny background. Shorter ones because they're in the background. So lots to do, yeah, lots to do. Right, I've got a little script brush here, which I'm gonna dip in my thinners. I'm just gonna thin that brown down a little bit, so hopefully I can make some 
twiddly twiddly branches. Now I'm quite new to this script brush. I used it once in my last last live stream, so I'm gonna do all the right hand side ones first. And by thinning the paint down, it really does help to put it on a bit better and easier. How do you clean your brushes? So I clean them with some uh, brush cleaner. You can buy, this is odorless um, thinners. You can use that, but I mean, it, that is really expensive, that stuff. So I just buy some normal uh, brush, uh, brush cleaner that I get quite local to me, a big one, and it costs about £6.50 for a, a bit like that, and it lasts a while. We'll put a nice little grassy areas now. I'll try and do it from this side because I am I am right handed so but hopefully you can see like what the background is actually doing now what the idea was Thanks to any new followers, people that are tapping the screen, I appreciate that. And gifts, if I missed any, thank you. I appreciate them. And I really appreciate you all here, guys. And uh, who watched the football tonight? How disappointing. So close. We'll put some nice highlights on some of these trees later. There we go, that's the idea. Maybe just have one there, look. There we go. Do you have overnight or a Do you leave overnight or for a couple of hours? I want the actual paint in itself. It takes um, probably a week or two to dry properly. Depends on how cold it is in here, because I'm I'm actually in my in my summer house, but I, I should start taking a few in really to help dry a bit quicker. I think we need some more little ones there. Oh, that one can be a little thin there. I'm just adding some real fine, some hardly anything on the brush now. Just indications that one was a bit violent. We turned that into a, some sort of trunk. <laughs> that was a very violent one. Big tree there. There we go. I might be able to sort that out a bit later, but I might have something there anyway, so we should see. Happy accidents. Well, I think that'll do now for that kind of bit. It's kind of what I was looking for. Football coming home. <laughs> oh, I haven't finished yet, but thank you. Right, now let's put some grassy areas in, shall we? And I can come back to them trees and then I can bring some trees forward by extending and that, you'll see how quickly that does that. Right, so I'm adding some yellow. And let's go somewhere here because I know I'm gonna be mixing I got some yellow and I got some ochre. Just put some ochre there. I've already got some green on the board, so I might start off with a bit of green. Let's put the lid on that before I knock it over. Okay, now let's think. We use this brush, I think. Um, put some green on first. Well, I might have to put the um, little thing back on. Let's just put this back on, otherwise the painting will run off somewhere. Just 
Give me a second, guys. Okay, let's see if we can get to 2,000 likes, can we? What are we at now? One, three. My, uh, still my best is, um, what's my best? I think it's about 20, 23,000. I've got some sap green here that I'm going to put on there. And I'm going to put that over first. And I'm also going to mix these two together. So I've got some sap green on the brush and I've got some bit of yellow ochre and some cadmium yellow. And I'm just tapping it in there. in the board, putting some colour on and then I can add some, some more, I'm going to put a strip of green in here In. I think I read that one already. Thanks for liking the live, guys. Please share. Um, keep tapping the screen, really helps out. Okay, let's get some more yellow on there. There we go. Is that leaving some little dark colours in? Well, I'm not, I'm not going to go any further for now. I can come back because I want to determine exactly what I want to put here. A few little bits there, and maybe some ochre. Now, let's pull some of these trees down to make them a bit closer. So back into the uh, brown. Uh, let's pull this one down. There we go. See, that's now brought it forward. And this one. There we go. Maybe this one just a little bit there. Maybe leave that one over there. Very easy. Very easy. There, look. See how that's created distance between. We're at 2.5k now, let's see if we can get to free or whatever. Please share the live if you can, if you know anyone that's interested in some art and whatever. So yeah, quite happy with that so far. Okay. Maybe this one comes really close. down to about there. Maybe we can put a little shack there. A nice little wooden shack and a path and some bushes. 
let's have a look at some bushes. Got some yellow ochre. There, look. And some little highlights. Some little twigs. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's do this um, little shack. I think I'll knock up a bit of black. What's this colour here? Is that black? I think that's blue, isn't it? Um, where's my black? Hmm, that's a, that's a good question. If not, I'm gonna knock up some... Oh, it's black, isn't it? Yeah, need my eyes tested. There's blue. It was black all along. So I got some black. Uh, thanks for liking the, li the live jade. Much appreciated. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little bit of blue, a uh, bit of blue, some brown. And some black. Just mix them together. It's just like a real dark brown. Almost black. But... Alright, let's think where we want this in. So. like brown and black together. I'm just going to pull down here. Down here. So that's the basic shape. It's the basic shape of a little hut. And then we can add some nice little highlights onto it, make it all look good. There we go, and there's a little thing on the back there. A little shed or something. And we can muck about with that now. Now we're gonna put some highlights on. Clean the knife off. Just gonna put that out there a little bit more. It's got a little roof on there, look. Okay, now I've got some brown. Let's nick a bit of this brown. And let's put it up here. And I've got some white here. It's a little bit of white. And I'm just putting that together, making it like marbly, like that. See? So it's all sort of marbly. Let's leave it like that, okay. Right, so I'm gonna take a bit of that Hopefully make some old wood so we can come down. And 
and this side would be a bit lighter. So we've got an old sort of cabin look. Right then, let's clean this off. And I'm gonna go into the white. Actually, no, I'm gonna go into the black. And put a little door in, just there. couple of windows There's a little couple of windows there so come on guys tell me what you had for dinner tonight there's no chatting going on we need some chatting I want to know what you had for dinner tonight and I can tell you what I had <laughs> Right, let's knit, um, I'm gonna, a little bit of blue here. Tiny little bit of blue. And some white. Just here, look. Just mixing that up. Again, sort of marbly. Oh, too much. Right, well, yeah. Oh, we got. Oh, Scorn's got pizza. Mmm, pizza. Someone else said pizza. Hi, Bell. Uh, Jade had pasta. What pasta do you have? And what pizzas? And do you have pineapple on there? What's this pineapple thing on pizza? See, I, I don't mind it. Some people hate it. But pasta I love. Pizza I love. Pizza is just amazing, isn't it? It really is. Right, let's get some white out again. And I'll put some little highlights around here. highlight the edge of this I'm trying I've got a shaky hand um, Sandy Shaw's had nothing macaroni mmm macaroni lovely jubbly again pizza's very um, versatile isn't it you can do uh, pe well, pizza and pasta, actually. Create your own. Why are we having trouble putting white, white on there? Let's just get that on there. Okay, here we go. Just little highlights there. And get some more white, because I made that all black. There we go. A little framing if we can very hard sometimes to get that off the knife and maybe we can have a corner there So look at the comments. I had not so a 12th century church say it went something out of Fuku Dibley. <laughs> Was it alright though? Thank you. Just putting a small bit of, small bit of detail in. Oh, I scratched some of these panels in. Now, here's, here's going to be some fun. A little bit of red. 
a little bit of red. I haven't used this one yet. Could be a bit runny. So I've got a little bit of red. Oh, it is runny because it's out, fresh out the tube. Red and some Van Dyke Brown. Nick a bit of that. Nick a bit of this. Yeah, look at that. Just putting some like little tiles or something on the roof, trying to. School. We had Burger, Big Bang, um, Marguerite Pizza. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Sounds good to me. So we got an old shack in the woods. Now, got some white here. I'm just gonna put some highlights on these trees. That one's right behind there. So I'm just tapping basically on the tree. Just to give it a little bit of a light. You can pull round a little bit as well. There we go, that one maybe not, just these sort of closer ones. Maybe this one has a little bit. Just a little bit there. Okay, maybe that one has a little bit, which, tiny, tiny little bit there. So I had, what did I have? What did I have for dinner? I've forgotten. I always have this problem. Uh, oh yes, I had chicken tikka masala. I'm just gonna put, actually I'm gonna make that a little bit more red. Just tap in a bit of red, reddish color on there. Up the side of the trees. Just to give that sort of lighty feeling. That one's too much. I can sort that out in a little. Over that up a bit. There we go. Just makes them a little bit more 3D, I think. And obviously lighting and stuff like that. Oh, thank you so much for the uh, muffin. That really keeps me well fed. <laughs> much appreciated. <laughs> so kind of you. Uh, Jamie Heath, thank you so much. Appreciate that. So again, I'm just putting some red down there. And I'll pull it up. We don't want too much on there. So it's all at the bottom, a little bit at the bottom. So, it's a little bit too much on that one, so I can correct it with some more brown. Happy little accidents. Nothing too mad. There we go. Great, great to catch 
catch one of your lives. Oh, thank you so much. Off bed now, we'll catch soon. Okay, thanks for being here, Squawn. Chloe, hello, how are you doing? Please keep tapping the screen if you like it, guys. Let's get some more people in there. Um, so who, any of you actually do some art or who, whoever's in here? If anyone does any art, then please tag me in some of your videos. Okay, let's put some bushes in. Some more bushes, because we like some bushes. Need some more yellow. I'm getting quite a quite a different number of paints now on my board, which is all fun. There we go. Look at all that got that. So I'm going to get some yellow. Put some little bushes in. Some darker ones here. Look. Maybe just in front of that tree. A few highlights. We can scratch some twigs in there. And we'll just have a few dotted around. Maybe some darker ones over there. distant ones yeah. and maybe there's a big bush here bush there look all right let's think about doing a path I'm gonna have to hold the cameras up for this one because I can't get to the bottom of my canvas because there's a lump of wood in the way I'll have to get myself a new all right let's just uh, do a path coming down here hold this canvas and everything at the minute. We're just putting a path in now. Maybe that comes all the way from that door. And we'll just throw some paint in here. Probably can't see much at the minute, but. So I've just thrown a load of brown on there. I do some photography and I have done a few paintings, just started out with painting. Oh, that's brilliant. Do you put any of your photography up on, um, on um, TikTok? Right, let's, I can use some of this old paint here and I've got real light, lighter color and I can just lay some of that on there, creating some mud. Look at that, instant mud. Instant mud. Right, now we can start bringing this, this greenery in now. It's quite a very quick, quite quick painting really. I'll just add some um, bits and bobs in a bit, in a bit. Just wanna see if I can highlight that door a bit better. There, that's better. Maybe just 
just a little bit of a darker patch there. There we go. Right. Right, let's go back to the this brush and we'll put some finish off with some green, some yellow ochre, some capture yellow. I might swap to the fan brush as well in a moment and put some darker areas in here. And then probably change brush actually. Let's screw that back up. There we go. Gonna need some more yellow ochre and cadmium. Cadmium yellow and some yellow ochre. Is there any is there any new people here here that's watching and hasn't seen me before? That'd be interesting to know. I'm just dabbing this green on there. Hopefully that didn't move the canvas too much. Right. Now dipping into the yellows. Oh, mostly on Facebook and Instagram. Oh, cool. You'd have to somehow, somehow show me how I can... Um, how I can uh, see them. Okay. I think I'm going to swap to the little fan brush in a moment. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, I'm going to swap to the fan brush. And get some more yellow because that really does use the yellow up. And some more ochre. And bring that down onto there. Basically, this is so relaxing. There we go. Got quite a strong colour there. Maybe just some more green coming into there. Just to break that up a little bit. We're quite a quick painting though, to be honest. Oh, hang on a minute, is that the right green? No, I picked up the wrong green, silly me. Thought that looked a bit lighter. There's all different things going on there. Okay. No, I'm just gonna stand back and have a look, see if there's anything else I can add. Or if I need to add anything else, really. 
Let's have a look. <clears throat> I suppose I could add a big, big, big tree on the on the left hand side to bring it right forward. I don't know. Or whether I just leave it like that. That's the thing. That's the thing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure whether to leave it like that or add a tree on the left or the right hand side just to like, if I did, it'd make you feel more amongst the trees, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not 100% sure. Let's just have That's quite a big thing now. I might, when this is dry, I might touch this up a bit because that was a bit of a bit of a mistake there. But I'm sure I can sort that out. I can put some darker streaks in here as well. should just help give that woody effect. I think I might call that one done. Yeah, I'm definitely going to sort that tree tree thing out. Shame about that, but there we go. I could probably do it now, but I think I might wait a little bit and then blend the colours up. Trouble is, if you. See Don't know. Mm. Right. Well, someone's trying to text me. Ah. Right, so there you go. 